Shaman is a unique class, using totems to empower themselves and their allies, communing with the elements for power, and using both elementally empowered melee weapons and spells to crush their enemies. Shamans have gotten so many new powerful talents and spells in Wrath of the Lich King, which make them much stronger in PvP than ever before. Each specialization has had many changes, and even complete overhauls, which make Shaman feel more powerful than ever. Shamans have always been wanted for their totems, their bloodlust or heroism, and that does not change in Wrath of the Lich King. Shaman is a class that groups, arena teams, raids, and parties will all want to have. Each Shaman specialization is viable either for PvP or PvE, and the class is able to fill the role of either a healer or a DPS. Now, the elemental talent tree focuses primarily on improving your spells like Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning, making the Shaman a ranged DPS spellcaster class. On the other hand, Enhancement is a specialization that focuses on melee combat, increasing your damage with melee weapons, strikes, and equipping the shaman with powerful gap closers, and much more. And last, Restoration is the healing specialization, granting the shaman increased healing from spells like Chain Heal, Healing Wave, and many more. There are exciting new spells for each of the talent trees, but there are also new baseline class spells like Earth Living Weapon. Imbue your weapon with earthen life. This increases your healing done by 150, and each heal has a 20 percent chance to proc earth living which grants an additional 652 healing over 12 seconds boom finally restoration has a weapon enhancement meant for them this is an awesome change that i'm very much looking forward to in wrath of the lich king another new spell for shaman is hex transform the enemy into a frog while hex the target cannot cast spells or attack damage caused can interrupt the effect and it lasts for 30 seconds only one target can be hexed at a time and only works on humanoids and beasts. This is a huge buff for Shaman because it's for all Shaman. It's a baseline spell. Finally, they have a CC spell. This is incredibly powerful, makes Shaman much better in PvP, but also gives some PvE utility as well. Another new spell is Lava Burst. Hurl molten lava at the target, dealing 1,000 to 1,500 fire damage. If Flame Shock is on the target, Lava Burst will crit. This is an infamous Shaman spell spell dealing absolute insane damage. This spell can one-shot other players and gives elemental shamans even more burst in wrath. Of course, you just put on that flame shock first. That's always a guaranteed crit. Very, very nice. Now diving into the new talents, let's start with elemental, storm, earth, and fire, the classic shaman call. This reduces the cooldown of chain lightning by two and a half seconds. Earthbind also has a hundred percent chance to root targets for five seconds when cast. In flame shock, damage over time damage increases increased by 60%. This is just solid all around. Of course, that Earthbind chance to root is amazing. Very strong PvP talent, but also the other two parts that can very much help in PvE as well. Another new talent is Booming Echoes. This reduces the cooldown of your Flame Shock and Frost Shock by two seconds and also increases the direct damage done by Flame Shock and Frost Shock by 20%. So this is a big buff to Shock damage here as well. Another very cool talent in the element tree is astral shift when stunned feared or silenced you shift into the astral plane reducing all damage taken by 30 percent for the duration of the stun fear or silence effect now this is a huge strong pvp talent here guys if you get stunned feared or silenced so basically incapacitated you're getting a 30 percent all damage reduction for the duration of that stun fear or silence very very strong another great pvp addition to the elemental talent tree another great talent talent in Elemental is Lava Flows. This increases the critical strike damage bonus of your Lava Burst by 24%. And when your Flame Shock is dispelled, which if you remember, Flame Shock causes your Lava Burst to automatically crit, so enemy players will be trying to dispel that. When it is dispelled, your spell casting speed is increased by 30% for 6 seconds. Now this is, once again, another good PvP talent. As you can imagine, only other players will be dispelling that Flame Shock to prevent you from getting that critical hit on your lava burst but that will only make you cast faster very very cool as you can see lots of new pvp talents in the elemental tree we also have elemental oath while clear casting from elemental focus is active you deal 10 percent more spell damage in addition party and raid members within 100 yards receive a five percent bonus to their spell critical strike chance of course this is a powerful raid wide buff and once again another good reason to bring at least one elemental shaman to the raid 
raid for that incredible 5% raid-wide spell critical strike buff. Now another great talent in the elemental tree is shamanism. Lightning bolt, chain lightning, and lava burst all gain additional amounts from your bonus damage effects. It's a nice deep elemental talent for just bonus extra raw damage. And the last big talent at the bottom of the elemental tree is thunderstorm. This new talent knocks all enemies 20 yards back. It's usable while you're stunned and also restores 8% of your mana and also deals 500 to 600 nature damage to all enemies. The spell has a ton of fun uses, knocking players off the AV bridge, off the eye of the storm flag, off Arathi Basin lumber mill flag, and basically any high place that knocking them off would send them to their death. This is of course an iconic new spell for elemental shamans for sure. Now moving away from elemental, let's talk a little bit about enhancement and some of the new talents there. A very cool one is Earth's Grasp. This increases Stone Claw's totem health by 50%, increases the radius of Earthbind totem by 20%, and reduces the cooldown of both totems by 30%. Gone are the days where you have to put five points into that very weak talent, where it just gives you 10% or 5% more mana. Now you have Earth's Grasp instead. Another cool talent for enhancement is Mental Dexterity. This increases your attack power by 100% of your intellect, which is a nice boost to attack power here. But now let's move on to the more exciting, game-changing talents for enhancement. Frozen Power increases damage done by lightning bolt, chain lightning, lava lash, and shock spells by 10% on targets afflicted by frost brand attack effect. And here's the big one, frost shock has a 100% chance to root the target in ice for five seconds when used on targets at or further than 15 yards from you. All right, so this talent is straight PVP amazingness. It is so good for closing the gap between you and your enemy when they're running away from you with that incredible root effect. That's a nice five second snare, absolutely amazing. Now another really cool talent is Static Shock. This gives you a 6% chance to hit your target with a lightning shield orb charge when you deal damage with your melee attacks and abilities and lightning shield gains six additional charges. This is crazy. So finally, this makes lightning shield actually do something rather than, than just sit there when you're not getting attacked, right? You'd throw it up, it'd literally do nothing unless you're getting hit by something, right? In PVE situations. So this is very much a nice PVE talent when you're probably not getting hit by stuff, finally your lightning shield can do something. Now another new ability is Lava Lash. This charges your offhand weapon with lava, instantly dealing 100% offhand weapon damage. Damage is increased by 25% if your offhand weapon is enchanted with Flame Tongue. Now as you can see from this talent and the previous one, Blizzard is really trying to get shamans to use other weapon enchants besides just Wind Fury all day for days. Uh, so here we have Lava Lash giving you a reason to use that Flame Tongue. Now one of my absolute favorite additions to the enhancement talent tree is improved storm strike now when you use storm strike you get 20 percent of your base mana back immediately this is epic for a super long time shamans have been so mana hungry especially in vanilla and in tbc shamans got shamanistic rage which was very helpful for conserving your mana caused your melee attacks to give you mana back there was of course some other talents that helped with your mana but you still had to time shamanistic rage properly and you could still still go oom um sometimes. So this talent is a nice addition to enhance shamans finally solving their mana issues once and for all. Now another awesome talent in the enhancement tree is Earth and Power. This is a new talent which makes your Earthbind totem pulses remove all snare effects from you and nearby friendly targets and your Earthshock reduces enemy attack speed by an additional 10%. This is mind-blowingly amazing. This is the talent that makes enhanced shaman a complete terror in PvP. They literally cannot be snared. Each and every pulse from their Earthbind totem removes all snares from them and their allies. Incredible. This is such a fun talent. It is so amazing to just be able to free yourself from snares all the time with that Earthbind totem. So, so cool. Now, another new talent for an Enhance is Maelstrom Weapon. When you deal damage with a melee weapon, you have a chance to reduce the cast time of your next Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, Lesser Healing Wave, Healing Wave, Chain Heal, or Hex by 20%, stacking up to five times. Now, if you multiply five by 20, you get 100, which means instant cast once you have five stacks. Instant cast Hex. 
is pretty good in PvP. So very, very cool new addition for Enhance, giving them the ability to cast Hex instantly. Really, really cool. And the last notable talent for the Enhance tree is Feral Spirit. This talent summons two Spirit Wolves under the command of the Shaman, lasting 45 seconds. This talent is just a lot of fun. How cool is it having two Feral Spirit Wolves as pets while also being an insane melee DPS? Just a ton of fun to run around with them. Really fulfills the Shaman fantasy. You know, similar to Warcraft 3 with a Fire Seer having two Feral Wolves and you can't be snared and just running around just cutting stuff up. It's awesome. So overall, Enhance got an absolutely insane amount of good new PvP talents that make them stomp many, many other classes in PvP. All right, let's move on to new restoration talents. And let's start with the big new spell at the bottom of the resto tree, which is Riptide, which is an instant cast heal for 700 and will grant another 700 heal over 15 seconds. And the next chain heal on that target within 15 seconds will consume the healing over time effect and increase the amount of heal from that chain heal by 25%. Riptide, very infamous ability, very, very good for Shaman. Very, very strong, makes resto shamans great. Another awesome talent in the resto tree is improved water shield, which gives you a 100% chance to instantly gain mana as if a charge was consumed when you get a crit from healing wave or riptide, 60% from lesser healing wave crit, 30% from chain heal crit. So basically just reduced chances depending on which heal you're using. This is very similar to the static shock talent in the enhanced tree, which is basically a nice PVE application for your shield for when you're not getting hit, they can still be valuable and get those charges used. Another cool talent in the resto tree is tidal force. This is a new talent which is an activated spell which increases your crit chance from some of your heals by 60% and each critical heal reduces that chance by 20%. So pretty much you have increased crit critical strike chance for three crits on a three minute cooldown. Be very nice for you know getting that improved water shield proc when you want them. You want to get that extra mana. So tidal force nice activated ability for resto. Another really really cool talent that gets me super excited in the resto tree is cleansing spirit. This is an amazing new resto talent because it is finally giving shaman, resto shaman, the ability to remove curses. That's right, all in one cleanse spell. They can remove one poison, disease, and curse all at once. Everything but magic effects. Very, very cool for shaman finally to have the ability to get rid of curses if they get this talent in the resto tree. Now another cool resto tree talent is blessing of the eternals. This is a new talent which gives 4% crit to all spells, but the big thing is the increased chance to apply Earth Living Heal over time by 80% when your target is at or under 35% health. So very, very nice little uh, bonus for when you're healing someone that is at low HP. Another cool talent, Improved Earth Shield, just makes your Earth Shield have two more charges and also increases the healing done by Earth Shield by 10%. Nice little talent there. Another very exciting talent for Resto is Tidal Waves, which causes your chain heal or riptide heal to have a 100% chance to lower the cast time of your healing wave spell by 30% and increase the critical effect chance of your lesser healing wave by 25% until two have been cast and healing wave gains an additional 20% of your bonus healing effects and your lesser healing wave gains an additional 10% of your bonus healing effects. As you can kind of see, these talents can be a bit confusing. Essentially, it's lowering your cast time. It's also increasing your critical strike chance for some of your different spells and giving you some bonus healing for some different ones as well. Tidal waves, more like confusion waves. It's a pretty sweet talent though. Ancestral awakening causes uh, you, when you critically heal with your healing wave, lesser healing wave, or riptide, you will summon an ancestral spirit to aid you, instantly healing the lowest percentage health friendly party or raid member within 20 yards or 30% of the amount healed. This is what gives shaman some very nice raid healing, so it's very nice uh, restoration talent and it's really cool honestly if you just read that's like the coolest thing ever. Now when it comes to PvP performance, Shaman is pretty crazy in Wrath. Each of the three specializations can do very, very well in PvP. Elemental and Enhancement can both burst players down like crazy, and they now have more PvP-oriented talents like you've seen us go through. Restoration is much stronger now too, with a bunch of new buffs, which make them very, very good in PvE as well. When it comes to arena teams like Roguelock Shaman, this is an incredible team to go on for uh, if you're if you're gonna play Resto. It's one of the best teams in Wrath, pretty much hands down. 
and a shaman can accompany many classes in 2v2 and do very very well. So overall, shaman has gotten an insane number of buffs in Wrath of the Lich King which make it a PvP powerhouse. If you like shaman in TBC, then you are going to love shaman in Wrath of the Lich King.